until the next episode. Barbecue with Greg. Smell the smoke. The time is here for Barbecue with Greg. The friendly man who enjoys a barbie. Barbecue with Greg. Tips and tricks you never thought of. Fish or chicken or pig or cow or sheep or bronze. He just knows how. Beer or whiskey or cider or pop and sometimes Jaeger shots. Jaeger shots. Barbecue with Greg. Grab a bev and join the party. Barbecue with Greg. Sit right down. It's time to start his barbecue with Greg. Welcome to this very short episode of Barbecue with Greg. Just doing some drummies. A couple of drummies. And um, the reason why I wanted to show you this is because I found a place near me, finally, since Barbecue Galore closed down, um, that do barbecue related retail basically what it is and they got these um wood chunks i bought the apple ones to start with but they've got like six different kinds and these are proper fucking chunks of wood man check them out dude chunky so um for basic drumsticks i just get one chunk chuck it on let it start smoking up Put the drumsticks around, around the, as I usually do, and <whistles> fucking turns out delicious. So, <sighs> be cold. I will um, reveal the goodness when it starts happening. And. You can see the wood chunk there. You should be able to see it. It's causing smoky goodness. There we go, it's burst into flames now because I took the lid off. I'll just pop the lid back on so it doesn't continue to burst into flames. And um, we watch as the smoke kicks up. There it is. Oh, by the way. What? What is that? Oh my God. Yep, I got myself a new barbecue. This thing is the top of the line, ladies and gentlemen. It has the easy fucking disc disengage fucking ashtray. I have, I have bottom vents again. Something I haven't had for at least five years on the old liver. Uh, what else we got? We got the uh, we got the goodies bin, which is where oh you can't see that. But anyway, that's where you put the heat beads and wood chips, and where I've got the barbecue cover. Yes, I'm a wanker. I got a cover. When you spend the money we spend on this, it's um, you're buying a cover. Alright, you know, so it's got some hangy thingies, so you can hang your shit. It's got a load of space underneath, which is where I quite often put that with the cover over the top, with an attempt to make it last more than 12 months. We've got a timer, which I don't, I'm not using for drumsticks, but I do use it when I'm doing a, a roast or steaks. We have the temperature gauge, which is currently reading 
just over 150 Fahrenheit. Ooh. Man. I'm moving up in the world, eh? Yes, that's a little tablet device which I watch movies and TV shows on. <laughs> Very happy with this barbecue. So, I do have a surprise. I'm going to get up very early tomorrow. I found a, a particular piece of meat from a particular animal that I've been wanting to do for a very long time. And I've never been able to find. I haven't searched that hard, really. But my local butcher, basically, or butchers, never fucking had it. And today I said, and Angel's with me. She'll vouch for this. I said to him, well, sorry, I said to one of his staff, what is that? And they said, it's pork. Oh, I just gave away part of the surprise. Oh, it's pork. And I said, what part of the pork? I was pretty confident I knew what it was. And um, she had to go and get the actual butcher because she didn't have any idea. He came back and he goes, oh yeah, that's the, ooh, I almost told you. Anyway, I will be uh, doing that tomorrow. Getting up very early, it's a proper mission. It's gonna be like 10 hours. 10 hours of a cook that one. This one. 30 minutes. So drumsticks on the go. And um, yeah. Probably fl probably uh, do some turnage soon. So it's pretty cold out here. Um, so I'm opening the lid for a bit. Which is counterproductive from a smoking point of view, but um, the temperature needs to come up, otherwise these drums are going to take like an hour. Smells good. Smells good out here. Smells really good. Getting there. They're getting there. Look at the colour there. You can't really see it, unfortunately. See that? Only a couple of little bird bits, which is always going to happen on a barbecue. But the majority is just that awesome colour. Okay. Boom. These are looking tremendous. Ange and I are going to eat these and I'll see you very soon for the follow up video tomorrow morning. It's going to be something, well, for me personally, it's going to be special. Be special. Oh, neighbours are out talking about the lunatic next door. He's talking to himself again. Doing. Oh. Anyway, next time.